going on guys so I got another quick little install video for you guys uh, if you watched my video about the parts unboxing slash the shirt um, reveal uh, I believe that's my last video uh, you saw that one of my subscribers a good friend of mine Adam sent me these overlays for the emblems uh, eventually I want to get the little blacks around that goes around here but for now these are gonna look awesome uh, but I am kind of going with the red and black theme on the car as you can kind of see so I think these are going to fit in uh, quite nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put these on there. Uh, I am a stickler for having things being perfect. So if these things are a little bit off, I'm going to probably pull it off. But I'm going to attempt it anyway, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So obviously the first thing you got to do is make sure the emblem is clean. Uh, I went over with a towel, some soap, water. Uh, also did a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on it too, just to make sure that it's all clean. Um, like I said, the, what it is is just going to be this portion here that's going to be covered up. The, the silver surround or the chrome surround isn't going to be covered up just yet until I can f find a company that just sells the uh, the cover for that. So uh, I think you have to buy it all as one thing with the, the emblem overlay and the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Obviously, you're going to pull off the emblem first. I don't want to ruin it here. God, I can't wait to get better video equipment so you don't have to do this. I'm going to take the emblem off. I'm going to place it on the center. You want to, You actually want to place it in the center and you want to work your way to the outside. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'll kind of show you when it's placed on there. So I was going to film the process of actually putting it on there, but I literally had it done in like 30 seconds. Uh, the hardest part is just kind of placing it in the right position. But other than that, I mean, it's really simple. Um, all you have to do is just place it in the center and kind of work your way around. Make sure you got it centered. Like I said, the, the love you too, buddy. The hardest thing was just getting it where you want it. Um, other than that, it looks good. Uh, definitely could use the black border around the emblem. I think it'd make, look at that, make it look even better. But uh, now on to the front one, which I think is going to be basically the same thing. Really easy to install. And uh, it really does change up the back end a lot. I like it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll with it for a while, see how it holds up. Eventually get that black border. Maybe I'll even plastic dip it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Okay, so it's on to the, uh, the front uh, emblem. I'm gonna try my best to videotape this as best I can to show you guys truly what the you know process is, the whole 30 second process of getting this on there. But the rear one was a little bit dip more difficult, so I kind of moved a chair out here <laughs> to pop the camera up um, so I could show you guys maybe like a time lapse of how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that right now. And there it is. As you can see in the time lapse, it took me about three tries to actually get it to line up where I wanted it, but uh, I think that looks dope. It definitely blends in with the S207 front, uh, the grill stripe. Uh, definitely like it for sure. Thank you so much, Adam, for sending these to me. I'll go ahead and shout you out in the comments and uh, give everybody your Instagram name. Definitely check out his WRX since day one. He's uh, been doing nothing but modifications to it and it looks amazing. So thank you again for these emblem overlays. And uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys, for all the support. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. All right, bye.